stumping for Representative John Gard. NBC 26 reporter Michael Leonard is live in Ashwaubenon tonight. Aaron, good evening. As you can see, I'm here at the Fox Valley Metal Tech in Ashwaubenon. As you can imagine, it's a pretty quiet place on a Saturday night, but that will not be the case on Thursday. This place will be jumping with Secret Service and media, all of it for a visit from President Bush. First, it was Vice President Dick Cheney. Now, it's President George W. Bush. I think it's a boost for the campaign. It shows that this is a, a serious race, and the president is putting his Texas vacation on hold for a quick trip to northeast Wisconsin. He'll be stumping for Representative John Gard at Fox Valley Metal Tech in Ashwaubenon. It's a good small business that's been hiring as a result of some of the neat stories in the district. Uh, Marinette Marine is a local shipbuilder. There's a lot of subcontractors in the area that benefit from that work, and Fox Valley Metal Tech is one of them. NBC 26 tried to contact Gard's opponent in the primary, Terry McCormick, for a reaction to the president's visit, but we've yet to hear back. In the meantime, Gard's campaign remains tight-lipped about what McCormick's camp must be thinking. We just keep giving people a reason to vote for us and not against somebody else. John's always trying to run a real positive campaign. A campaign for the 8th Congressional District seat that now has the backing of our nation's 43rd president. So again, it all goes down on Thursday. The president will be here at Fox Valley Metal Tech. He'll start with a tour of the facilities, then he'll make a statement about the economy, then it's off to a reception for Representative John Gard. Be sure to tune in to NBC 26 for full coverage. Of the Austin Straubel International Airport, the president is expected to make brief remarks regarding the news of a major terrorist plot disrupted in Britain involving...